The Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So sit back and enjoy. The Real History of the Transatlantic Slave Trade The Dera Europis Synagogue Here was a unique opportunity to witness how Jews of that time depicted themselves with their own hands. For the most part, they portrayed themselves as people of color, ranging from light complexions to black and skin color. The black presence in the lands of the Bible, page 15. Did you know the origin of the transatlantic Slaves? Atlantic Slave Trade The Atlantic Slave Trade Transatlantic Slave Trade or Euro-American Slave Trade involved the transportation by slave traders of enslaved African people, mainly to the Americas. The slave trade regularly used the triangular trade route in its middle passage and existed from the 16th to the 19th centuries. The vast majority of those who were transported in the transatlantic slave trade were people from Central and West Africa that had been sold by other West Africans to Western European slave traders, while others had been captured directly by the slave traders and coastal raids. Europeans gathered and imprisoned the enslaved at forts on the African coast and then brought them to the Americas. Between 1650 and 1860, approximately 10 to 15 million enslaved people were transported from Western Africa to the Americas. Most were shipped to the West Indies, Central America, and South America. Did you know the transatlantic 
slaves were called Luso Africans? Luso Africans are people of mixed Portuguese and African ancestry who speak Portuguese. The vast majority of Luso Africans live in former Portuguese Africa, now referred to as Lusophone Africa, comprising the modern countries of Angola, Guinea Basu, Cape Verde, Mozambique, Sao Tome, and Principe, and Equatorial Guinea. A sizable number of Luso Africans have also settled in Portugal where they form a racial minority. This ethnic identity arose from the 16th century as primarily male Portuguese settlers, often lançados, settled in various parts of Africa, often marrying African women. In the 15th and 16th century, Portuguese traders settled and Cape Verde, and along the West African coast from Senegal to Sierra Leone. Descendants of these traders and of local African women formed the nucleus of a Luso African community that soon developed a distinctive culture, joining elements of European and local African culture. These Luso Africans, or Portuguese as they call themselves, were commercial middlemen distinguished by their language, Portuguese, and later Criollo, architecture and Christian religion. Did you know Luso Africans were also called Creoles? Creoles? 